once again, the World Adventurers Club bids you a hearty welcome. Here in the comfortable lounge, we find men who have braved adventure and danger the world over. It is the custom of this club to hold a series of informal meetings in which each member is called upon to tell the most thrilling experience of his lifetime. The World Adventurers Club invites you to draw up a chair and sit in with this inner circle and hear a thrilling tale of the Royal Road to Adventure. and settle down for a new story of adventure. Into this club today walked our good member, Dick Hampton. Oh, hello there, Dick. How are you, Dick? Oh, uh, now listen, boys. I'm no good at making speeches. Oh, oh, yes. oh, no stalling Johnson has called upon you. It's up to you, Dick. Oh, but I say, I'm not prepared. In I... the wilds of Borneo, you were prepared for anything. Now all you have to do is to tell us of your last expedition. Well, it looks as if I can't escape from this crowd. Once I started a revolution among some savages, and there was a time when I outwitted a dozen hungry cannibals. But I admit I can't dodge this bunch of adventure fiends. You've got me, boys. What can I do for you? Well, we want to hear about Borneo. Yes, for many a day we've been waiting for you to come back. Now we've got you where we want you. I call this meeting together, but from now on you're going to do the talking. All right, gentlemen. I'll tell you what happened to me in Borneo. It's not the sweetest story in the world, but it's one I shall never forget. You've all heard stories of white men who have been attacked by treacherous natives. But I'm going to tell you a tale that recounts the loyalty of a black man and the treachery of a white. It won't increase your respect for the white race, but it may give you a thrill or two. First of all, have you ever heard of the great diamond of Borneo? Oh, yes, yes. That's the richest stone in the world. The story goes that the famous Borneo diamond had been seen by a white man who discovered it far in the interior of that little known country. This diamond was said to be as large as an orange, worth a fortune to the man who found it. Now, there are natives of Borneo known as Dayaks. A tribe of these Dayaks said that the huge diamond fell from the sky. A diamond from the sky? What could that have been? A meteor? Exactly. The natives discovered this meteor when it came into the Earth's atmosphere and crashed into the jungle of Borneo. They held it in terror. But a white man heard of it, a man named Stockman. It preyed on his mind. He had visions of countless riches if he could just get that huge diamond and get it back to civilization. I met Stockman at the town of Tawa in North Borneo. He had been a sailor and a trader with natives, and he needed a partner to f- and he needed a partner to fix up an expedition to go after that diamond. Fix up an expedition to go after that diamond. Fix up an expedition to go after that diamond. Fix up an expedition to go after that diamond. Fix up an expedition to go after that diamond. Well, I didn't like the looks of the fellow, but even though I didn't trust him, I decided to take a chance. We agreed to share and share alike, and we formed a partnership to reach the interior and retrieve the great Borneo diamond. So you started after it? We did. And what is more, we got it. You, 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 you got it? it? You actually, actually brought it out of Borneo? Well, what's become of it? Well, there's no use my boring you with the details of the trip. It's enough to say that after several weeks, we found the spot where the meteor landed. We unearthed it and cut out the diamond. 
There it was, gentlemen. A glittering piece of wealth. A diamond as big as an orange. Stockman and it acted like a man possessed. He danced in glee, cursed at the natives, and eyed me with suspicion. I think the idea of so much wealth must have unbalanced his reason. At any rate, he became surly and nasty, and I was glad when we decided to start back the civilization. There was one Dayak native in the expedition whose name was Kulo. And at dawn, on the day we were to leave with the diamond, Kulo, who had been acting as my personal servant, woke me and warned me to be quiet. What do you mean by that? Only a few words from Kulo were enough to convince me that my life was in danger and that I had to deal with a madman. Who, the native? No, Stockman. When, oh, Stockman. When Kulo awoke me at dawn in the heart of the Borneo jungle, he told me a story that I knew meant life or death and that I must act at once. Boss man. Fellow boss man. Wake up. Huh? Uh, what's this? What do you want, Kulo? Wake up, boss man. Danger, him come plenty quick. What? Hey there. What are you doing with those revolvers? Me load them, boss man. Me fix them so boss man shoot and kill. What's all this about? Tell me, you black rascal. Boss stockman. Him catch him big diamond. Him one diamond all by self. Him all by self. Him no want you have diamond. How do you know? All black boy know. Boss Stockman, him tell black boy, kill you pretty quick. Then him have diamond all by self when you dead. All black boy know. But me, your black boy, me tell him you. Me fix gun so you shoot him, boss Stockman. Great Scott. Stockman wants to kill me? Him tell black boy, kill you when some come up. Me tell you first. The double-crossing traitor. He wants my death to look like an accident, and then he'll own the diamond. But him no do. Kulo steal diamond. What? Diamond here. Me steal him. See? Me steal him for you while boss Stockman sleep. Now you kill him, boss Stockman, or him kill you. Listen, Kulo. I understand your loyalty. But white men don't kill each other like that. Then you die when some come up. Black boy kill you with poison arrow. Boss Stockman tell him to. Listen, Kulo. We won't wait for poison arrows. We leave now. We'll try to make the coast now. We'll try to make the coast now. We'll try to make the coast and we'll take the diamond with us. Back in civilization, I'll give Stockman his share and we'll call it quits. Here guns, boss man. Me go with you. Easy now. We'll fade away into the jungle. Then we'll give Stockman a slip. You guard the diamond. I'll take the guns. Trail to coast this way. Give us a good start and we'll never let Stockman catch up. I think I'll be... Pre- <coughs> What's that? That... B- 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 What's that? That Bambi, poison man. Him see us go. Run, boss man. The whole camp is awake. Follow me, Kulo. We've got to run for it. There's Stockman. Hampton stealing the diamond. Now kill him, you black devils. Get his eye out. After him. Come on, Kulo. Our lives depend on speed. Me here. Go by, son. Boss. East. We must head for the east. Here's the river. Downstream. Here, canoe. On bank. Heave. Out she goes. Climb in, Kulo. Off we go. Here, paddle, boss man. Make him go fast. They're at the river. After him. Murder him. Kill him. That's the Kulo. Faster. We can't stop to fire back. The stockman got canoe too. Him catch us. Me afraid. Look. On the bank. A crocodile. Him after boss stockman. Help. Crocodiles. Help. They're up. The crocodiles. The crocodiles have capsized them. We're safe. Oh. Bye, boss man. Kulo go. What? Kulo, stop bullet. Me shot. Here, take come diamond. Poor Kulo die. The crocodiles have stopped them. They can't chase us. Here, let me see your wound. No, boss man. Kulo no good now. No can paddle. Take home diamond. Go alone. Kulo die. Here, wait. What are you doing? Me go in river. You go alone. Save Diamond. Bye, boss man. Kulo! 
Great Scott, the crocodiles will finish him. Golo, Golo. And he dies to save me. Kulo, a black man loyal to the death. So that was the sacrifice of Kulo. He died to lessen the weight of the canoe. I had no choice but to go on alone. After many days of hardships, I made civilization. And what of Stockman? And what of the diamond? The crocodiles finished Stockman. And the diamond, to my everlasting chagrin, proved to be nothing but a huge chunk of quartz. What? And not the real thing? It's all for a chunk of quartz. I told you it wasn't a pleasant story that came out of Borneo. The craving of two white men, murder, death, and treachery. All for a piece of quartz. But I shall always remember Kulo. I think his loyalty and Stockman's treachery make me think a little more of the black race and a little less of the white. And now, gentlemen... I'd like to hear somebody else tell of an adventure to this organization. Yes. Yes. Jackson's next. Yes, up to you, Jackson, at the next meeting. Yeah, we're counting on you. For the savage pride of a jungle night is a fearful sight to behold. Hear the bushmen know that the red moon's glow brings a chill to a heart that's bold. Hear the prowling beast has a gory feast. And the earth is untamed and raw. Here the flying dart finds a ready mark. And a life for a life is law. Oh, the ocean sound with a hollow sound. On the crags of a rock bound coast. And the wind will fly with a scream on high. Like the cry of a tortured ghost. Here the prowling beast has a gory feast, and the earth is untamed and raw. Here the flying dart finds a ready mark, and a life for a life is lost. And a life for a life is lost. And as you say goodbye to the World Adventurers Club, don't forget that you are always a welcome guest to hear of their strange adventures in strange lands.